Hi guys, I hope everyone's having a great start to their new year. Um, I just wanted to talk about some of the side effects I experienced with the first round of Clomid that I did last month. Okay, so um, on the paper that I got with the medicine, I'm just going to read the side effects that are listed. So it says upset stomach, bloating, abdominal slash pelvic fullness, hot flashes, breast tenderness, headache, dizziness, and that's about all that they list on there. I pretty much experienced all of these symptoms except for dizziness. I never really felt dizzy. Um, and I don't know that the breast tenderness was from the Clomid itself. I think it was just because, um, I actually did receive my period. <laughs> so my first round of Clomid did not work. Um, so basically I definitely had hot flashes. The hot flashes were mainly when I was sleeping though. Like at night I would just get so hot I would throw the blankets off of me and then I would get cold so I'd pull them back up. And it mainly happened while I was sleeping. There was one day that I remember where I got them during the day but that was it and um the hot flashes stopped after cycle day 12 so it really wasn't that bad I mean considering I took it 5 through 9 it only lasted until cycle day 12 um on cycle day 12 I also had a headache that was the only day that I really had a headache um I was kind of crampy, like mild crampy all month. I don't know if it was because of the Clomid or something else. And a lot of people say that they get moody while they were on it. Um, I got a little moody around cycle day 11 and it probably lasted a couple of days. But again, that could have just been because AF was going to arrive in the next couple of days. Um, I did ovulate on cycle day 14, like it's supposed to make you, but I typically ovulate on cycle day 14 regardless of the Clomid. And AF arrived on cycle day 28. So, yes, so now I'm on my new cycle and I'm currently on cycle day 8. So, I decided not to take the Clomid this month. Um, we're really going to try and get my hubby in for his semen analysis. So I am currently taking Fertile Aid again and Fertile CM. I'm also taking Evening Primrose Oil. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I just wanted to give you guys that quick update on how my clomid cycle went <laughs> and let you know that I'm not taking it again this month. Maybe in the future again I will, but we're just gonna we're just gonna wait and see what happens with my hubby. So bye guys.